Revelio. This looks intriguing. Ah, <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How how dare you threaten me? What's going on here? must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. 
I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Nobody can miss one. What is happening? Who's it? You pay for that. Incendio. You will not survive this. Put me right! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Enjoy. We can take us. I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this student off of my dead body. You haven't got a prayer. You. been accosted in such a manner than so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm... Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols? Precisely. 
Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. 
they were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the bath pinch medleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The pinch medley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Grace know that I found her family astrolabe.
trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your calibre is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. the ruins. I'm on the right track. Accio!
encampment. This must be it. Oh, how long for a bacon and mushroom stew? Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Arn will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. We took his cards. Renrock's vision of goblins ruling over wizards will be fulfilled. What was that? That it? You don't believe you can defeat me, do you? Accio. You've been paying attention in defense against the... Renrock will unite us! Accio. Incendio. Protego! Yes. You won't get away with that. Akio. How many of you are there? Akio! Incendio! This is a waste of my talents. Yeah. 
There's a victory that came none too soon. Ugh. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I... You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented... This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Accio! Expelliarmus! Accio! Expelliarmus! Still at it! Incendio! Levioso!
Incendio. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. <laughs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So. I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar. Sounds like it's off limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So. The reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework, get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Revelio. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? De 
incendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Seems to have done the trick. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Send you. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? this. Must be the way out. I need to find a way to open the gate. Repairer. Incendio. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey dukes. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I have the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. if my mother taught at Hogwarts. Don't know how Natty manages. Professor Hackett is intimidating, but then she has a serious subject to teach. Can't afford to coddle students when it comes to defense against the dark arts. I wish they'd let Ronan teach the entire curriculum. Charms is the only class I can stay awake for. At first, I thought Professor Garlic might be too young to be a professor, but she's more than capable. Knows her guinea weed from her girdy weed, that one. Rumor is... Professor Hecate used to work for the Ministry. Or well, wonder what she did. Oh, did you hear about the new spell we're learning in Charms? I can't wait. <laughs> you know it's gonna be a laugh with Ronan. Sometimes I'm not fully sure if Ronan's teaching us a spell or having a practice himself. 
don't you find? It's genuinely questionable as to whether the man's at Hogwarts to steer the next generation or to become the next Yurik the Oddball. As a muggle ball, I used to be a of friends I wanted to catch up to the other students. Now I realize that no particular group of wizards has the monopoly on skill. The only place I'm able to concentrate is in the library. <laughs> it's also somewhat exciting waiting for the inevitable breach of silence. Sometimes you can find some quite interesting things in the library. Amit Dukar is already studying for owls. No wonder he doesn't have any friends. I heard that Professor Binns died one night and showed up to class the next morning as if nothing had happened. I don't think he even knows he's a ghost. It's impossible to do all of the homework they give you. I think they do it on purpose. I'd never have a harsh word to say about Hogwarts. I for one could stay here forever. Better than where I'm from. Anyone fancy going to protect me? I've been wanting to go for ages. My friend said they have very high quality feathers, and I need one for my. Revelio! I've seen rare garments there. Very powerful, I'd imagine. I can't say I feel the need for that sort of thing, mind. I'd be quite content with a new pair of socks. The last time I was at Dogmeat and Death Camp. Madame Green had everything from Disney seeds to shrivel figs. Just be careful not to upset her, though, or she might set a venomous tentacular on you. Hogs needs no London, mind you, but it'll do in a pinch. My aunt says I should get to Hogsmeade as often as I can. Says it's good to get out of the castle sometimes. All of the shopkeepers like me. I know they do. They always put a bit of something extra in the bag for me. I think they're drawn to my charm. Also, my parents spend a lot in Hogsmeade, but I don't think that's it.
Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I've brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. You want to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book?
And that it's missing pages. Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm, a small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, Rebellion. I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten. A student Never will in the kitchen. Students. What could they want? Delicious food and what found themselves a bit peckish, likely. Certainly you know makes Rookie's job easier. <laughs> Hello. Can you point me in the direction of the rubbish? Towards the other end of the kitchen. If it's not taken out yet, just follow your nose. You'll find it soon enough. Um. 
It smells glorious in here. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Revelio. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. You didn't, eh? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favourite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Who knew all of this was going on right beneath our feet? Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Finky keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen. It's all right. She's the kind-hearted sort. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organises the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. 
It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving Headless Ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this Headless Hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. This entertaining. Do stay behind me. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzant. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Ah, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the Headless Hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young mortal. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Nothing like the feeling of a breeze through my hair. Or so I recall. How do ghosts sweep their heads while away the afterlife? I'd say he's in over his head this time. <laughs> Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him, 
Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away until you find him. Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide in, eh, Jack Dawkins? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. And then I won't be the one to clean up this mess. That I've never seen it played like this. How delightful. <laughs> Well, good job, but suppose. But we're not through with you. I could do that too if I had a wand. And a body. And then I won't be the one to clean up this mess. <laughs> Than it's supposed to be. Oh, what fun! A student is playing. <laughs> is it over yet? I've never seen it played like this. How delightful. Young Jagdaw's no match for you. Say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? 
I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? These rocks have seen better days. Off on another adventure, are we?
Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Side bird bath. Anything else I should look for? Indeed, indeed. A few landmarks, stone bridge, a waterfall, and fire crawl. A lake. Beautiful. Been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising amount of this rather fortunate thing coming back. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Intramuros. Far from home. Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh...
There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh, uh, you've been back. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. I wonder how big this place is. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. Shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> 
is simply too many. 
Another puzzle. Well, if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. An untouched chest. Tactor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. 
It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Accio! Send you. I thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Incendio! Shame you're so foul. Sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. <laughs> Action. 
shield. Rebellion. It is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. He's can't be what the head of the Jajanta. Accio. Incendio. Protego. Stupid one. Imagine how the spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Ugh. 
need to look around for the symbol. Getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jack Daw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jack Daw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Starting to flood. How am I being protected? 
What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Incendio! I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? You can't imagine how we can be.
I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Depulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Revelio. will fall from their broom first. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Wish I had my the own. The rooms are school property. I want ah. them returned in ah. one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we?
This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ha! Good. I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Ha! Ha ha! This is rather fun! I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the garden, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge! Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it! And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... sti because you're still not showing yourself or, frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. 
I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then? If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Professor Weasley is easily my favorite. Her wand work is exquisite. He has an order named after him. I should think that would be enough. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. I could say I never. 